What's up everyone, Ramul the Eskimo drummer here. So I thought it was about freaking time that I did a video on how I record my drum covers. I mean I've been doing drum covers for uh, about 8 years I think. Since 2000, and, no actually since 2007 so that's um, 3 plus, I suck at math. Um, nine, oh my god. Nine years? But yeah, nine years, but I really started in 2011. That's when I really became more uh, motivated to do uh, more drum covers. And I have never talked about how I record my drum covers. And I think I feel comfortable now to, um, to go through that process showing you how I do it. And so yeah, I'm about to go practice the song uh, 303150 from Stone Sour and it's a song I've been wanting to do for a very long time uh, I love Stone Sour, I've seen them live you know Stone Sour, it's the lead singer from Slipknot, uh, Corey Taylor's band and I thought this would be a perfect uh, cover to uh, also make a how to, how I record the cover and all that um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through that process with you. And I'm standing here between some, just a lot of bri bridges here, cars go by here. I'm stand, I'm sitting some, I think this is some sewage stuff. Uh, but the video you just saw in the beginning is the bridge right up here where all the cars go by. Uh, the, the highway that goes to the city of Aarhus here in Denmark. Uh, Aarhus is the second uh, biggest city in Denmark. I've been living here since 2009. Of course, many of you know I'm from Greenland. Some of you maybe not. Um, so I also wanted to um, film this uh, to get out of my comfort zone in a way. Because I always film myself inside. And when I started filming this like two or three minutes ago, there has been plenty of people just going by me, <laughs> like watching what? They don't care, I thought they were gonna be like, why is he filming? So this this is kind of uncomfortable to me, but in, I just realized now that it's not that uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna continue on my way to the practice space and um, practice the cover and I'll show you how I set up my, my gear and um, how I prepare for uh, recording a drum cover. And I also... I'm also going to show you the process of uh, the whole thing, so it's going to take maybe a few days because I'm not going to record it now. Um, so I'm probably going to record the cover tomorrow. So this is kind of, this is this will be like a two-day vlog type of making of drum cover. <laughs> okay? okay, let's go, let's go to the place. Just wanted to show you my bike. I hate this bike. Uh, it always uh, the tire always uh, the tire always uh, blows or what do you say <laughs> I have to change the tire all the time I I also have a scooter at home but someone tried to steal it when I was practicing drums uh, last year so they fucked up the ignition ignition uh, so I can't start the scooter I don't have the money to repair the scooter so there's about um, there's about, um, I think, two and a half kilometers to uh, my rehearsal space from my apartment. So right now I'm halfway, I'm halfway there. And sometimes, especially in the winter time, it um, it gets very, I get very unmotivated to go and practice because it's raining all the time. It's cold, and it's a bad excuse, I know. But uh, I'm gonna start going there more and now because it's summer it's really nice now I have so much motiv motivation to uh, to bang out some drum covers so yeah let's go there Never man, we're sitting on man In the wind, he ain't got so long with a ball bat Now we just 
This is the place where I've been playing drums for the past, um, I think it's it's been two, more than two years now. I used to practice like, I think it's two kilometers more this way, at the basement of a church. And I practiced there for since 2011 to 2013, somewhere around there. And I got kicked out because um, I, play, I played too late in the evening and I could only play till like 10 in the evening, I think. Um, and I would play metal music in the basement of a church. Actually, some there was some time, some day I was practicing. Um, or I was actually recording a Kill Switch Engage cover, and the ch uh, the priest came down to to me when I was about to record. I wish I had it on tape because I was actually just about to record, but I didn't catch him on catch him on tape. But <laughs> he was wearing his uh, outfit, church uh, priest outfit. And he was like, we're, we're having a ceremony upstairs, <laughs> so I hope you can be quiet and come back later. It, I was, that, was a, that was a memorable moment for me. I mean, I wish I was actually recording like Lamb of God, that would be so funny, because I have done a Lamb of God cover in that church right before I got kicked out. I think it was because I played too much metal, that it was too evil for them. So yeah, I'm gonna go inside and show you uh, the hallway and all that stuff. Cause this this is a place where um, many musicians come to play uh, here in Aarhus. I think there is um, 40 rooms here where people can rent, musician can rent a room rehearsal space, and it's quite expensive. So I am in a room where um, where we are three or four drummers, and we each pay like 650 Danes each month. That's about 100 US dollars just to use the space. Now you guys, now you guys know my code to get in. So this is actually a place where the musicians can have a concert. They have quite a few concerts going on here sometimes, a few times a year. Uh, this is kitchen space. And yeah, I never actually go to these concerts. I don't know why, I think it's too small and boring. It's a chill out, chill out area. They have an old PlayStation where you can play. There's another chill out area there. So, this is where I practice number 37. And it's the same code to get in. So oh, we're here. Now, now what you're gonna need uh, to record a record a drum cover, you're obviously gonna need uh, some microphones. If you don't have a microphone, um, you could 
you could um, get a like a single microphone. I think Zoom, the brand Zoom, they make like some really good uh, microphone, single microphones that records the whole uh, atmosphere, the whole room, and it can record music, uh, drums, and a whole band like live recording, and it sounds pretty awesome. Um, but the ideal way is that you want to have like drum drum microphones for each of course for each tom and overhead overhead uh, microphones i have used a brand called samson samson for a long time but then i switched to a brand named audix this is um this is actually audix dp7 it's what it's called because it's a uh, it consists of seven microphones one for the bass, the snare, the toms, and the overheads. Um, but my bass microphone for the Audix actually blew blew out a few years ago, so I'm using my old Samsung. I used I have a whole I also have a whole kit of microphones for Samsung. So this is for the bass. I used the Samsung, uh, and also a Samsung on the bottom snare. Because you want to um, you want to mic up your snare both on top and bottom. Because if you don't if you don't uh, if you don't mic up your snare both from top and bottom, you're gonna get a very uh, like you don't you're not gonna get the snare sound out of the drum because the snare is actually underneath the sn the snare itself. You know, deciding deciding here. That's what's you're gonna need you're gonna need to get that recorded as well when you record drums and it's uh, really tricky to uh, to edit that in a music program and like to EQ a snare and to uh, fit in both top and bottom snare and make it a gr this is that's the most difficult thing it's still difficult for me to make a, a snare sound great um, but I'm gonna make damn well sure that this time for the next cover I won't have a lot of complaints about my snare. Also, I use a pretty cheap uh, Tama snare right now. I do have um, I do have a um, Slipknot Joey Jordison snare. I love using that, but right now I can't afford I cannot afford to buy a new uh, a drum head because I blew it, I cracked it, or whatever you call it. So I'm using my old Tama snare. Uh, the snare is pretty basic, it's not a spe special snare, it's just uh, metal works, I think it's called metal works, something like that. Uh, and it sounds pretty boring, but I think I'm gonna really try and tune it the best I can, and I think it's gonna sound better for this cover that I'm making now. So, on to the recording gear. I use Zoom. R24, you saw it on my last video I did of Gojira. In the beginning, you saw me uh, push the buttons. I actually have two of them. Two of the exact same recording um, interface. It's an interface with where you use SD card to, that's the memory, that's where all the recording goes into storage. Uh, it's just like my camcorders, they use SD cards. Um, I, I bought this because Actually, I bought two because there's only eight. You can only have eight uh, XLR uh, microphone cables plugged in here. So there's only eight inputs. And if you have, like me, you have snare. And sometimes, it's not it's not all my covers I use both, but most mostly I only use one uh, interface to record with because I only need the five piece. Because you can see this one is not set up. I actually have an extra microphone for this. So some covers, like the Trivium cover I did of Throws of Perdition and also the Lamb of God cover and I think a few others, uh, I used uh, nine microphones. And when I have nine microphones, I'm gonna need an extra one. So I basically bought this extra one just to get one input in. It's fucked up, but yeah. Uh, if you want nine, you're gonna have to use more than one uh, interface. So yeah, I think this is it. This is it for now. I'm gonna practice the Stone Sour, 
and then I'm gonna go home and tomorrow I'm gonna come back and record it and I'm tomorrow I'm gonna show you how I t after the recording um, actually right now I can also talk about how I go about recording so I use on this one I put this this camera this is a Sony HD small HD camera and I put this up there with a tri a little tripod to sit up there and then I have my Canon that I put up here I don't have the Canon with me I have a Canon T4i uh, I think it's called 650D T4i and that's the one I use for this angle so I have two angles and I only have two cameras because cameras are expensive I wish I had more I would love to have three or four cameras uh, because it makes the drum cover more awesome when you have multiple angles so right now maybe some of you are thinking how the fuck are you recording the <laughs> double bass I'm actually the way I record the double bass I actually use this micro uh, this mic this camera the, the Sony so what I do is I record it with the cameras and then I make it take a completely new take I do a completely new take of the song I'm pra recording to get the, the pedals to get the double pedals uh, so it's it's a it's a lot of hard work because right after you're done a recording you're like I don't want to record the damn pedals but you have to do it so the the pedals are not actually the the actual recording you're watching from the it's another but who cares I mean as long as it looks right uh, what what else yeah I can show you where I put it <laughs> I put the uh, this camera I'm filming with I put it there to get this shot so yeah I'm gonna practice now and uh, when I'm done recording tomorrow oh actually I forgot to tell you how many times did I do I do do uh, takes I do about three to five takes for every co drum cover I record I don't I have I think I have done one drum cover I can't remember which one where I did it in one take that's because I practiced it so many times I had so much time to practice it because it was an old song it was not a new song uh, because when it's a new song I um, I want to make it as fast as possible to to get it up there fast because people will be searching for the song um, so when it's a new song I usually do three to five takes simply because I haven't really played it long enough for me to memorize it completely so I do three to five takes and out of those three to five takes I look I go home and watch all the footage and I import all the audio to my computer it takes hours and I go through every recording of those five, three to five takes and I look at which one is the best one like okay I knew and I also have usually have a feeling which one was the best so I start with that but I always look at them all and listen to them all and it takes hours but at the end I'm like okay I'm gonna use take uh, four for example or uh, second take uh, and then I dis disregard all the other takes that's just the way it has to be I mean it's a lot of hard work so yeah, I'm going to go record uh, practice now and I'll see you tomorrow.